Hello, and welcome to Cloud Linux, the first commercially supported operating system for shared hosting. In this video, we will present you one of the most important features of Cloud Linux, CageFS. CageFS is a virtualized file system and a set of tools to lock each user in its own cage. Each customer will have its own fully functional file system with all the system files, tools, etc. Many people try to secure hosting using php.ini files. This gives some results, yet php.ini restrictions are often easy to circumvent. Additionally, they will not work at all for CGI scripts. That's why we decided to develop a more effective tool for increasing security of the server and created CageFS. CageFS has many valuable benefits, such as only safe binaries are available to user. User will not see any other users and would have no way to detect presence of other users and their user names on the server. User will not be able to see server configuration files, such as Apache config files. User will have limited view of PROC file system and will not be able to see other users' processes. At the same time, user's environment will be fully functional and user will not feel restricted in any possible way. No adjustments to user scripts are needed. The installation is simple enough. Just execute yum install cagefs. Today, it's trivial for attackers to use hacked web applications to deploy PHP shell. Let's check two scenarios. A PHP shell script, c99.php, executed for a customer not in cagefs and for a customer inside cagefs. The PHP shell for non-caged customer is the following. In this example, an attacker was able to open and read badly secured Apache config file with all domains hosted on that server and usernames. Same way a hacker can read unsecured system files. Do whatever possible. Let's try the same for a customer inside CageFS. As you may see, the file simply is not available for caged customer and cannot be viewed. Without CageFS, an attacker can see all system users by simply reading this file. You may see a lot of system users as well as other customers like CLTest1, CLTest2, CLTest3, CLTest4. Let's do the same for a caged customer. The output limited. Only the system accounts are shown. The accounts needed for services to function properly for that customer. User does not see any other customers on the server, just its own account. Things are even more interesting if you try using Shell. As you know, if a user can run CGI scripts, user can do the same things as from the regular shell. Here are some examples of what a non-caged user can see. You can see many system users and all other customers located on this server. However, running the same commands as a customer inside CageFS produces different results. There are only a few system users and no other customers. Another thing we prevent with CageFS are SUID bit files. Those files are often used to escalate privileges. Without CageFS, there are some files like XM that are available and could be exploited. While for a customer in CageFS, the output is different. We are using execution by proxy that allows us to execute such software like XM without SUID bit on them. If customers require any other commands that are not a standard part of the system, you may easily add them by making RPM available inside CageFS with this command. Don't forget, you can get all the benefits of CageFS for free by downloading the Cloud Linux trial at trial.cloudlinux.com. Thank you for watching.